Know. Welcome back to the channel and today we have the Hyperion Audio Planner Ribbon Super Tweeters. Today we're going to unbox, set up, and overview. What are Super Tweeters you ask? To put it simply, it's an additional tweeter which covers a wider and extended frequency range beyond your existing loudspeakers. Basically give you more of that eerie high detail that you may be missing from your, your loudspeakers. Speakers are ideal for home theater as well as hi-fi stereo. So, Alright, let's get these out of the box and see what's in it. Alright, first thing we have are the instructions. Aprion Audio Instruction Manual. All right, we have some styrofoam, and we have the two speakers wrapped in some fabric. Then we have, I guess these are the uh, little feet for the speakers. Put that aside. That's about it in the box. Let's get these unwrapped. Very nice finish. Very nice. Let's go back. Put that down. Get the next one out. Same as well. If you look in the back, as you can see, the positive neg negative speaker terminals. And right here is how you would adjust the treble. Starting at the flat level of zero decibels, you could go negative one, negative two, negative three decibels. You just set it in the place and push it in, and you set it to according to how many the you know how much decibels you want that to be the trouble to be at. Yeah, There's a little fight getting it in and out, but it's not too bad. And right here we got the adjustments for the um, the crossover. How many kilohertz you would want to set it at? Right now it's on off. 8 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 12, 13, sorry, 14, and 16. You just basically turn the knob to whichever you want to select it at. Um, basically for this unit, when you're um, setting it up and you're trying to get your settings right, you just basically listen to your music and adjust it according to how, you know, how your listening pleasure is. Look in the front, we have a high fidelity Planner Magnetic Flat Ribbon Tweeter. And of course the Aprion Audio logo in the front. Seems to be like a little metal cover right here covering the ribbon tweeter. Uh, have a little silky feel into the ribbon tweeter itself. And very nice. It's not much really to say about these speakers looking at them. It's pretty simple and straightforward. But in a second, I will um, assemble everything. Now, setup should be fairly simple with these speakers. First thing you pretty much do is set the um, speaker on top of, you know, your tower speaker, bookshelf speaker, whatever it may be that you're working with. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, set it up there. The next thing you do is grab your wires. As you can see here, uh, it's kind of long. I don't really have any short ones right now. This is of my own design and build. Um, maybe in the future I'll make some shorter ones to be used. But um, after you set that up, there you get your speaker wire. You start making your connections. To make it easy as possible, it's best if you start with like spade connectors. What you do positive to positive, negative to negative. One connection, tighten it up. Connection ready. That's both connections, negative and positive. And that's it. Right. 
that's about it for this video. I will be um, putting out a demo in a matter of hours behind this video so y'all can get an idea of what the um, these speakers sound, how these speakers sound in like a home theater setup and as well as in like a two channel stereo setup. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with these speakers and digest all of what I'm hearing and feeling and thinking and then I will get back to you with a third video which will be my impressions of these speakers. In the meantime, I thank you guys for joining me and I see you guys in the next video.